Hi everyone, thank you for joining me in this video. This is the part three of the series where I'm teaching you how to create your own book cover in Canva. Okay, the first part we created the front cover. The second part of the video we created the back cover and now we're going to do the whole spread. Okay, the back cover, the front cover and the spine. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, now here on the page I have the front and the back cover that we have concluded, that we have finished, okay? So what we're gonna do is download this. So I'm gonna download, so if you wanna go download it, just go to um, the download button up here on the top right corner, just click download. Download it as a PNG, okay? And um, you put um, the page here, so you wanna download the pages separately. You don't want to have both of them in the zip file. You can do that, but I don't like to. So I'm gonna put page one, I'm gonna click download, and when you're ready, click page two and download it okay so when you download that you're gonna go to the upload um, section of canva and then upload the images back into canva okay so that's one way to do it okay upload the images back into canva and you're good to go so what we're going to do next is to get the the templates because we need a template okay we need to get the size right so we need a template for that and create space makes it easy so go to createspace.com create space is a, a platform where you can create your own book so it's for self-publishing at its best you know you don't have to think through all of those um those little details you know they make it easy for you so go to createspace.com and up here search for artwork templates and when you search for that you see all of this results click on the very first one which is book cover templates so when you click on that it opens up a page for you and right here what you're going to do is to configure your templates because like i said you want to get the size right okay go ahead and put in your details here the interior type of your book is black and white mine is black and white so i'm going to put black and white the other options are black and white with bleed full color full color with bleed so mine is black and white the trim size for my book is 5.25 by 8 so that is you know highlighted here if you're using a different size just go ahead and pick whatever you're using okay and then the number of pages I have 194 pages in my book, so put the number of pages. I think as a rule for Create Space, if you have less than um, 100 pages in your book, you are not going to need uh, a spine. You're not going to have to put some text, any text on the spine because it's not going to wrap around. It's going to wrap around the book and that won't look good. Okay, but I have 194 pages, so I have a spine. And then the paper color is white. So go ahead and click build template. And when you're done, you're going to see um, a zip file that you can download here. So you click download, you download the file. What we need in Canva actually is the PNG template. That is the image file. Okay, that's what you're going to need. So you're going to import that into Canva. So we'll go back here. So this is the front cover, the back cover. What we need now is to create a canvas for the whole spread. So go ahead and go to the home page and use click on custom dimensions okay now for the page i'm using the book is 5.25 so the back cover and the front cover will make it um 10.5 and then i'm going to put an extra 0.5 which is will make it um 11 okay so 11 inches the height the length of the book is still eight inches because it that, that's not going to change so 11 inches and eight inches put in those dimensions make sure it's inches here not pixels and then click design okay so it's, it's going to open up this canvas for you and this is what we're going to work with so what you want to do now is you know the templates that you downloaded from create space you're going to go ahead and put it back into canva so go to uploads and it's right here i have uploaded that um, template and it looks something like this okay it looks something like this so you're gonna go ahead and you can um spread that on the page okay so it covers the whole page so this is what we want now look at the text all of the text on the template this is where the barcode will go okay the white portion of the page is the live area. So if you don't want any text to be cut off from your design, make sure all of the text is contained within the white area. Okay. And then you're good to go. So 
we want to put in the front cover so you're going to go ahead here i have you know imported the 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 cover images right here in canva so you're going to go ahead and click that and it will import the front cover for you so just put that on the space right here the front cover is going to be on the right side so you can stretch that out so that it covers the page okay all right and then we're going to go ahead and put in the back cover we're going to do the same thing make sure that the text is contained within that white portion of the page okay okay so if you're not sure just go ahead here and make it transparent for a bit so you can see that all of the text is within the white area now there's a little problem here the barcode has some text overlaid you know the space for the barcode so if you find out that you have this problem all you have to do is go back to your original design and move things around okay so you can just move the text up a little bit so you have more space here but when you get to the points that you see that all of the text is becoming too crowded and it's not going to be easy to read you can leave it you know create space we can reduce the size of the barcode you know that i've seen that done before so that it fits into the space that you do have okay so they're going to make it work for you all right so i'm going to take that back to what it's supposed to be and that is it so this is your front cover and this is your back cover now this space that you have in here is the spine so you're going to go ahead and put some text in there so what i want to put in there is my the title of my book me is unlikely okay and then the rotate button right here click on that and drag it so that the text is in the right um, position so this is big so you can go ahead and reduce the font size okay all right what else do you want in the spine that should be the author's name so i'm going to go ahead and put my name here okay and i'm going to do the same thing rotate it I'm going to do the same thing, reduce the font so it's not too overwhelming on that part of the page and then move it right here. Okay. So if you want, you can change the color. I want to change the color of my name to, you know, this color here and that's it. And if you want to pretty it up, you can put, you know, an element there. So I want to put a little shape right here okay i'm gonna make it really small i'm gonna change the color hmm, this doesn't look like the same color but you you get the point i'm gonna change i'm gonna make it small and make it fit in this space something like that okay now that is your spine and that's you're pretty much good to go okay so this is the title of the book you know the author's name and you know when you have the book on the shelf it's easy to see the author's name and the title you know from the spine so that is very important okay so don't worry about this pink part here it's just going to be uh, trimmed off because we don't need that part all we need is the white space right there and that is it that is it your book cover is complete the front the back and the spine so you can go ahead and download this you can download as um png image if you want jpeg or a pdf print so i'm going to download as a pdf print and click download okay so i'm going to open it up voila here it is okay so let me make it smaller and this is the page so you can see that there's some space you know um at both sides here but don't worry about that they're gonna trim that off okay they're gonna trim it off and all you need is what is within the space you know and this is your cover you're good to go okay remember that you might be thinking oh my god what is that watermark you know i didn't pay for this element because I'd, i've already paid for it i've already published my book okay but in your case if you were to use this element you would have to pay for it before you can download it from canva okay and that is it 
so you can go ahead and put this in create space i'm probably going to do another video on that on how to um, set up your book title and create space and then this is a pdf all you need is a pdf that meets their guidelines and you can upload that into your create space um, account and you're good to go all right i hope that has been helpful for you let me know if there are any more um tutorials in canva that you want me to do let me know if there's anything else you want to learn and um i will check it out all right please subscribe to my channel for more videos leave a comment let me know what you want to see next and um, i will see you in the next video thank you bye